Right, this question is about efficiency and it's about power and energy. And you've got efficiency in terms of um, a triangle. This is the way I like to think of it. So efficiency, if you put it down there in a triangle, you've got whatever you get out, useful output divided by what energy you put in, the total energy in. And this could be a, this could be the total energy and it could be the power in as well. So we're going to, first of all, have a look at what it's asking for. Every litre of fuel releases 32 megajoules of energy. Important to realise that a megajoule is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6 joules, a million joules. During one journey, the car used 65 litres of fuel and the journey lasted 8 hours. Okay, so let's, what are we doing here? We're saying that 32 times 10 to the 6 joules times... 65 litres is the total energy produced. Divided by 8 hours times 60 minutes times 60 will give us the total time in seconds. And we can do this as a sum. So 32 times 10 to the 6 times 65 litres divided by 8 times 60 times 60 gives us 72,222 watts. Well, it's energy per second, which is um, power, which is equal to the unit for that is watts. Now, they want it as 70 kilowatts, so 72 1,222 watts is approximately equal to 70 kilowatts. Right, happy with that? The car travelled a total distance of 730 kilometres. Okay, so probably at this stage it's worth giving you a couple of triangles. Now, if you've got power and energy and time, you can actually also say that energy, when we're talking about moving a certain distance... And there's going to be a force happening here. We're going to often use, instead of energy, we'll use the work done. Now, work done is equal to force times distance. So what you can do is you can have a kind of a mega triangle, if you like, where you've got force times distance at the top. And you've got power times time on the bottom. Um, you can write this a few different ways. But what you'll be able to calculate is then that the force times distance, which is equal to the work done, divided then by the time, is going to give us the... Oh, force, divide this by the time, is going to give us the power output. Now, it'll be the same time as we had before, because it's the same journey. So the force is 2.1 kilonewtons, 2.1 times 10 to the 3 newtons times the distance 730,000 meters. Now, that's because I've just converted kilometers to meters. And we're going to divide this by the same time, which is 8 times 60 times 60 seconds. And we're going to have, let's do this, 2.1 times 10 to the 3. Cancel that. 2.1 times 10 to the 3 times 730,000. So, of course, I could have done that using standard form as well. Divided by the time in seconds, it's going to give us equals 53,229 watts. And this is about... 50 kilowatts. So the output of the car in terms of power was 50 kilowatts and the input in terms of the fuel is 70 kilowatts. So that's going to be important for the next part. The next part is to determine the efficiency of the engine and again we can go for the triangle. The efficiency is equal to what you get out divided what you put in. So what do we get out? We got 
53,229 divided by uh, 72,222. We used the full numbers uh, when we did our calculations and we rounded up later. So divided by 72,222 and that gives us about 0.737 as a fractional efficiency, it's, which is equal to about 70% efficient. You're going to multiply by 100 to have it as a percentage. Okay, and that's the so efficiency of the engine is about 70%. Now, what I might do in this case is I might say it's maybe 74%. And then about 70%. Because they have given us two significant figures here and here. So maybe we should give our answer to two significant figures. But any more than that, and that's ridiculous. Okay.